Hi there, welcome to this episode of Worldwide Canadian. Today, not preconditioning. Did it make a huge difference? Stick around. Well, we're on our way back from uh, Truro, Nova Scotia to Bridgewater and we're doing a quick pit stop with 7% arrival state of charge on the battery. Uh, we plugged in uh, without any preconditioning today at 11 degrees outside and our battery, the low temperature was 16. The high temperature was about 20 to 21. And uh, when we plugged in, we ramped up to about 92 kilowatts. And uh, so we're going to be here for a short period of time to get enough kilometers to make a quick stop in downtown Halifax and then back to Bridgewater. I'll give you a look at that uh, charging curve right here. And uh, also uh, I'll give you an update to see if it goes any faster than that. So we just jumped up to over 100. We're now at 109.6, which is pretty good when this is a 120 kilowatt charger. And we're at 24%. So after about eight minutes, uh, we're up to 109.6 kilowatts. We have 25% now, and uh, it's 12.7 uh, kilowatt hours in the battery. So that's pretty good. It's telling me that uh, 41 minutes is what it's gonna take to go to 100%, um, but uh, it's actually charging quite quickly, even without the preconditioning. Now keep in mind that it was 11 degrees and we have been driving for quite a distance today. So uh, it's not gonna take quite as long. I'll check back with you. In the meantime, I am putting up screenshots of the temperature so you can see where we're sitting right now. So we are now at 35% after about 13 minutes. And uh, we have 15 minutes to get to 80%. Uh, we have 96 kilometers now, approximate range, and we have 115 kilometers approximately in our trip. So we're not gonna have much more time that we need to be here. And uh, so we are getting 111 kilowatts currently. And uh, that's pretty darn good for uh, not preheating that battery. So all in all, what I've learned today is if you're traveling at a temperature above 10 degrees Celsius and uh, doing quite a bit of distance and getting low into your battery, preconditioning isn't really beneficial on a 120 kilowatt hour charger. And uh, that was my supposition earlier when I had tested this charger. And I've now just learned that uh, that's pretty accurate. So uh, I didn't waste too much time uh, warming up the battery. In fact, it jumped to 100 fairly quickly and uh, didn't really impact the time that I was going to be here at the charger. Well, that's it for this episode of Worldwide Canadian. If you could like and share this little video that would help me a lot also click on that bell icon and you'll be notified when i upload new content see you next time right here on worldwide canadian